welcome and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Ev and on this channel we do all things knitting. Now that the holiday season is slowly approaching I wanted to take the time and share with you guys some lovely patterns and ideas for holiday gift giving or just to say thank you to people that you love. So there are a few free patterns that I wanted to share with you guys but some are purchase patterns so it really depends uh, what fits in your budget and they all use about a small amount of yarn. To start off the video, I wanted to say thank you to Ana Luisa for partnering with me in this video and sending over some lovely jewelry that would make amazing gift ideas. So the first one is this beautiful bracelet. This was one of the most popular bracelets from their collection this year. I've seen many, many people wear it and I feel like a bracelet like this is really beautiful and stunning and just kind of works with every single outfit. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it feels really, really nice. So all their jewelry comes in little pouches. They have different size pouches. And what I really liked about it is they also sent some extra pieces just in case you see that you can even remove some. So I think that this is a great gift idea because it can be worn by so many different people. Ana Luisa is a carbon neutral, water neutral, and eco-friendly company. They strive for stunning jewelry and made up of recycled gold, recycled silver, and the diamonds are lab grown. And I love their jewelry so much. I wear it all the time. They are tarnish resistant, stain resistant, and they ship all over the world. Another bracelet that they sent over is actually this one. These two hoops kind of interlocking together. Now this one surprised me because it looks even better on than I had expected. I love the gold, it is beautiful. So I paired it with my previous gifted Anna Luisa bracelet, but this one I will be giving it as a Christmas gift, so it's not gonna be mine. Finally, the last piece that they sent over are these cute little earrings. I'm currently wearing them right now. I think that they are stunning and I love the diamonds and I think that they work so well with this other mini hoop earrings that I got from Anna Luisa. So one reason why I really, really like these earrings is because they can be gifted to anybody. If someone has multiple holes, they can put them in their other ear holes and wear different earrings at the same time. They're small, but because of the diamonds, I feel like they add a little pop that goes well with basically every single outfit. So if you do decide to give some earrings to someone this Christmas, I highly recommend you give Ana Luisa earrings because they are hypoallergenic, which means that you don't even have to worry that the person won't be able to wear them because they have allergic reactions. Like I get allergic reactions to most earrings. So I would just like to say thank you again to Ana Luisa for partnering with me in this video. And I highly recommend you guys check out the link in the description down below. They're currently having a sale for the holidays, 35% off. Get it while you still can. Let's talk all about some holiday knits. I will share the Ravelry bundle with all the patterns listed in the description down below, and I will also individually link them down below. I'm gonna break it down into three sections. Pattern knitted items to wear, pattern decoration, and then ideas to wrap decorations in. The first pattern that I wanna share with you guys is this beautiful, gorgeous headband. This pattern is the Woven Cable Headband, and it is by Priscilla Ul Ulojo is an older pattern, but it was published in 2019. I really, really liked giving headbands for a gift because they're relatively easy patterns to knit and I feel like everybody kind of needs something to cover their ears but doesn't want to get crazy hat hair. A headband is the solution. It has a beautiful cable all around and I love how the center is basically just one giant woven cable with a little bit of a garter stitch detail around the edges to make sure that it doesn't curl in. This pattern calls for Aran weight and it only uses about 100 yards or 91 meters, which really isn't a lot of yarns. I feel like this pattern wouldn't really take that long. It is knit on US 8 needles, which is five millimeter. Now the pattern does only have adult size. It's a one size pattern, but it is a free pattern. I'm pretty sure if you wanted to, you could measure how long you want the head to be and either make the cable shorter, do less repeats or make it longer. The pattern is listed as an intermediate skill level. However, it has been knit over 2000 times and the average difficulty out of 10, it's listed to two bars. People seem to be able to do it relatively well. If you look at the options, people have done it in many beautiful colors. And I think that this is just such a stunning, thick, beautiful headband. The next pattern that I wanna to talk to you guys about is a second headband. Now this one isn't for free. This one is about 740 Canadian dollars. The Rudut Somula Headband by Suvi Litikainen. This pattern was published in December of 2020, so it's only a year old. 
but what I really like about it is the beautiful kind of interlocking center at the front. I'm pretty sure that that is where you connect the headband when you knit it in the round, so it kind of does like a seamless headband. I've done a headband like this for my sister in the past. I really, really like this one because I love especially the gray one that they knit up as their sample knit with the white lines. I love the, the square grid. This one is, again, it's listed as a little bit more difficult than the previous pattern. This pattern calls for a fingering weight and a lace held together, so it's a sport weight. One bonus thing about this pattern is that it does offer different sizes, so you don't have to figure out the math yourself on uh, how to make it bigger, how to make it smaller. And this pattern offers two different ways to cast on and cast off depending on your preferred method and what what you want as a result. So I find that really great. This pattern is now available in English, but it is also in Danish, Finnish, German, and Norwegian. I really want to cast one of these on, and I'm thinking I might look how uh, at the yarn that that person chose to make the brown one. I might do something similar to that. I really like that one. So now that we are going from head to toe, the next pattern that I want to talk to you guys about, I believe this is the pattern that Inga knit up from Knitting Traditions a couple years ago because it used to be just in Norwegian and she did like a pattern translation to English in one of her videos. I think this is this pattern. It is the NR3 Double Tuffler. This is a free pattern on Ravelry and it is by Sadness Design and it is these beautiful, lovely slippers. These slippers are felted, so you knit them kind of on the flat and you knit the inside and the outside together on the flat kind of like this. And then when you're done knitting, you slip the inside, like you fold it and slip it inside of the outside. I feel like slippers are such a beautiful gift to give to people. Uh, people's feet are always cold during winter. It's cold season, at least here in Canada. This pattern calls for bulky weight and it calls for 300 yards to 766 yards or 208 meters to 700 meters. It depends on the size. I love that there's so many different sizes available for different feet. Now, I've never personally felted something and I feel like Slippers would be a good way to start because you can then mold them to your feet and felt them I guess accordingly like you can felt them and then put your feet directly in them and then Basically by wearing them you will kind of mold the slippers to your feet So I do think that could be a fun experiment, but also make a really great gift I want to try this. I don't know if I have I don't currently have enough bulky weight yarn to knit these But if I did I probably would it's still up I will try to find Inga's video and link it down below she goes over the Norwegian instructions like row by row and translates them herself to you. This pattern is great because if you have less time and less yarn and you want to give someone something that they can use every single day, I highly recommend you guys check out the Soho Scrunchie. It is by Tori Yu and this one literally doesn't have a gauge. So this pattern, what's really great about it is you can knit it up with every single size yarn. It doesn't have a yarn requirement. If you scroll down on Ravelry, it, there's like a little tab that says yarn and what are the requirements for fingering weight, sport weight, worsted, bulky, the suggestion for needle sizes for each yarn. And basically you can use any scrap yarn. It really doesn't take up that much. It takes about, I would say the maximum yarn requirement for a fingering weight is 126 yards, 115 meters. For bulky would be 66 yards or 60 meters. Again, really not a lot. Scrunchies are cute and adorable. And let's say you give someone a slipper or a headband and you have a little bit of excess yarn, a scrunchie is a perfect item to use up that yarn and give them a matching scrunchie so that they can have a scarf and a matching scrunchie. Scrunchies is one of the gifts that I've actually given in the past. Now we are going into the hand department. So the next patterns are two patterns that are relatively similar to one another. So I'm gonna talk about them together. The Molly Mitts are fingerless gloves. It's a pattern from this year in October and it is knit up in sport weight yarn. It only uses about 197 yards to 230 yards or 180 meters to 210 meters. So this pattern doesn't use up too much yarn. I think it's because it has no fingers, which is amazing because I don't know if you've ever knit fingers, but they're relatively small. And if you don't have DPNs, double pointed needles, it's kind of like tricky. No fingers means a quicker knit, a great gift, and less of a headache, <laughs> less ends to weave in as well. What I really like about these mittens is the fact that it is double rib. I 
recently have been really getting into double rib and I love that the thumb isn't double rib the thumb is just a stock and knit stitch I think that that really makes the mittens so much more beautiful I also really like how long it is on the arm so you can wear this part under your sleeve and just have it come out to your hand pattern is in Canadian six dollars and 85 cents it comes in three sizes x small to small medium to large and then an x large size and i feel like if you are like me and you are in your ribbing days and you want to give a great gift this pattern is the way to go the second pattern that i want to talk to you guys about is kind of similar but different this one only has two sizes an x small small or a medium large this one is a free pattern smith's gloves by sam callum Batcher, and this one was published in january of this year of 2023 this one calls for fingering weight as well. And this one uses a bit more yarn though. It uses 328 yards to 437 yards or 300 meters to 400 meters. So the difference is it does have a bit of a shorter sleeve length so it doesn't go down. So it would be like more at your sleeve instead of in your sleeve if you wear it with a coat. And this one, the rib does go up the thumb so there is a little bit more of creative decreases to do because the rib kind of curves in the palm of your hand and goes up your fingers and then another rib kind of intertwines with it i'm just going to put a picture here hopefully you can see so this one does have a bit more detailing to it and more complex design elements to it on the back of the hand as well you can kind of see the ribs don't just shoot up straight they kind of like not intertwined, but they pop out of the curve of another rib. It's similar, but gives off a different vibe. So it really depends which ones you're into. If you're into really long, slender ribs, I highly recommend the other pattern, but if you want something free, shorter, maybe a quicker knit, there's this pattern as well that has more of a complex design to it. I think this is a really fun pattern. It's the Candy Mountain Mittens, and these mittens were made by Twin Stitches Design. I love how fun and young these mittens look. They have cute little triangles all the way around, and if you want, you can make each triangle row a different color or use two different colored yarns and just kind of have more of like a monochrome look. I think that these mittens make great gifts for everybody. The pattern has sizes from toddlers all the way to a large adult. If you wanted, you could give everybody in your family a pair of mittens. I mean, that would take up a lot of time, and I don't know if you could do that before the actual holidays, but this pattern is about $7 Canadian, so it is not a free pattern. Because it comes with so many different sizes, I feel like this is one of those patterns that you could just knit forever. Also, if you wanted just to keep a simple mitten, you don't have to do the mountain design. You could just make it one color and reuse this pattern. Another aspect to the pattern that I find really interesting is the decreases, how they kind of like decrease at the tip. It's not just like a round, but it's kind of angular. I really like that. I haven't really seen many mittens with this kind of decrease at the tip. This pattern is knit up with fingering weight yarn and it uses about 200 to 400 yards or 183 meters to 366 meters. This pattern is only available in English though. There's one more pattern that I want to discuss with you guys about knitwear items and items you can wear. And it is this lovely, cute little sweater. This is the Lucky Dog sweater. And I think all these dogs are lucky for having them. Again, speaking about rib, this has a beautiful ribbed collar with rib detailing along the chest area for the puppies. If you guys have a dog yourself or know someone who has a dog, I think that this pattern is beautiful. And if you want to see some cute, stylish little pups, here you go. <laughs> this is a pattern that was published in October of 2020. The pattern calls for worsted weight, weight yarn and it is about 125 yards to 730 yards, 114 meters to 668 meters. They offer sizes from X small to X large. The pattern is $9, so it's not a free pattern. And here are some cute little puppies wearing the sweaters. The X small is worn by apparently Fern. The small is worn by Roxy and then the Lila is wearing the medium. And I think that they all look super, super cute. <laughs> On to the decoration items. The first item that I want to talk to you guys about is the, the Strorna Star by Carolina Eckerdahl. And it is this beautiful, lovely star. I actually knit this one last night. I ended up using bigger needles, so it should be a little bit smaller, but I knit this with the Sadness Garn Duo and a mohair that I had, just some extra yarn that I had. I wanted a white star. So this is what the star looks like on both sides. 
and the way that you work up the star is really interesting. So you start off on the edge, a duplicate stitch, knit it to the center, weave in the ends at the center, pull so that it really squishes all the yarn together, pick up the same stitches again on the side, and work your way to the center again on the other side. This pattern did take me a little bit of time to figure out, but now that I have figured it out, I feel like I could make more so much quicker. One reason why I really like this pattern is because it offers different ways. It tells you you can cast on stitches as you want, but it does offer an extra PDF with extra instructions on a cast on stitch um, that is recommended for the pattern. And there are also different ways to knit up the pattern. So I decided to go with option B. So B does have a purl row along the center in between each, I don't know if you could see that, but in between each kind of star leg, there's a purl row to really help define uh, the star shape. The option A doesn't have that. I will most likely knit more, but this is a really cute decoration that you can either give to someone or decorate in your own tree and in your own home. This pattern calls for DK weight yarn. It calls for US two and a half or three millimeters. Now I knit this on 3.25, I think. Calls for 35 yards to 50 yards or 32 meters to 46. This pattern has been knit up over 2000 times. So again, you know that this is a relatively doable pattern and this one was released in 2010. I think this is one of the oldest patterns I've mentioned on this channel. This star is beautiful. I did stuff it with toilet paper because I don't have stuffing and I didn't wanna just shove yarn in here. Just trying to figure it out was a little bit tricky, but once I got it, it went by really, really smooth. And to get this tassel going, basically since you pull at the center, I went back up the leg of the star with the needle inside. I went with the, like a weaving needle inside, passed the yarn, passed it back down, back to the center, and then I tied it in here so that I could have like this tassel to hold my star. I highly recommend you guys check out this pattern, and if I didn't mention it, it is a free pattern. The next pattern that I wanna share with you guys is again, another little ornament. I thought that they were really, really cute and unique, and I've never seen mushroom ornaments, so here they are. It's a set of three little mushroom ornaments. So this pattern calls for sport weight yarn. It is a pattern by Kay Schutt. I just thought that this pattern would be a really fun, unique way to add some little life to your Christmas tree. The last ornament on my list is actually these cute mini Christmas stocking ornaments. This is also a free pattern. And what I really like about this one is it gives you a template with eight different stocking uh, color work design. This pattern calls for fingering weight. And this is the second pattern that I'm currently knitting up right now while trying to. This is what I have so far. I decided to go with the Fair Isle stocking. So you start off with a garter stitch, with three garter stitch rows to do the cuff, 13 rows of color work. I am using some leftover yarn from a sweater I knit up in the past. This is some fingering Shetland wool, and then this is just some leftover sock yarn from my Regia sock yarn. This pattern has been out for quite some time now, and it is only in English. Like I keep seeing those guirlandes, those uh, garlands where it's like many little stockings. I think that this pattern is really cute for that. Or you can just have a little Christmas stocking hanging on the side. If you don't have time to knit someone something fully, you can still give them a little something knit that they can cherish and have in their own tree. And this pattern really doesn't use that much yarn. It uses five to seven yards or five to six meters. <laughs> this pattern really doesn't take that much yarn. What is interesting about the pattern is that it is knit in the flat. So you knit both sides and then you seam them together. So it is not a pattern that is knit in the round. So now that we've discussed some lovely Christmas ornaments, the next pattern that I wanna to talk to you guys about is this lovely pillow. And I think that this is one of the most beautiful holiday pillows I've ever seen. It comes in two different versions. So there is the reindeer pillow, or if you wanna go more traditional holiday, you can go with the Santa, you can do the reindeer version. And I love how there even is a little Rudolph on this pillow. Kind of like uh, where's Waldo, but where's Rudolph? It is about $4.99. This is a pattern from Knit Picks and it was released in December of 2019, so it is a little bit older of a pattern. This pattern is knit up in worsted weight yarn. It calls for 550 yards to 780 yards, or 503 meters to 713 meters. One reason why I also think it's really great to give house items as knitted holiday gifts is some people are actually allergic to wool or uh, animal fibers, and I personally don't like to knit with acrylic, Sometimes people don't really know how to take care of knits and I feel like it's just safer just to give, you know, like for example, the pillow. The person won't really have to wash it other than to spot clean it 
and pillows tend to get less dirty and it's more of like a homey vibe so i highly recommend this pattern i think it is beautiful and stunning and as i mentioned yeah if you are unsure of someone's sizes or something and you really want to knit them something for the holiday season to keep them cozy and warm a pillowcase is the way to go so this pattern is relatively easy it comes with a chart on how to do the stitch design of the santa clauses and the reindeers Someone even figured out that if you flip the reindeer upside down, instead of the antlers just have a bar, they figured out how to do a Christmas tree, so here it is. So it is possible to use this pattern to make many different designs and have a beautiful knit couch. <laughs> and a bonus, this pattern is knit in the round, so I find that really nice because pillows, I feel like I would think it's knit in the flat and then you seam them together, so you don't have to worry about pearl row or color working in pearl rows. So the next two patterns that I wanna to talk to you guys about is by Petite Knit. The first one is the December bow. Now this was a bow that came out last year. It's a super cute bow that you can either use in your Christmas tree. Some people used it to put around their doorknobs in their home to make their home feel more homey. This is a pattern that is knit up in DK weight. It is a sport weight and a lace weight held together. The triangle picks at the end are beautiful. It is knit in garter stitch. It really doesn't take up that much yarn. It is 109 yards or 100 meters. The bows worked in one piece from tip in garter stitch with an I-cord edge all around to avoid the curling. The work is then folded into a bow and then you sew it together. Um, there are also people who have even attached this to an elastic and wear it as a headband. So I think that this bow is really, really cute. The petite knit Christmas stocking. Now this stocking is beautiful. This is a felted stockings. I really, really like the stocking because I think it is super clean, a really simple, clean, nice stocking. And then you can embroider the person's name on it on the front which I think is really really cute if you have a family and everybody has their own stocking with their own neat name em embroidered on it the stocking is knit in bulky weight it is a one size pattern so it calls for 300 yards to about 280 meters in bulky weight I feel like would go relatively quickly so petite knits rates the pattern three out of five difficulty but then seeing the people who knit this up they rated it two out of ten so I think it is a little bit easier. One thing that I really like about the pattern is the hook is a leather strap. I think that that elevates the look even more and makes it look more fancy, more of a luxurious piece. There is also the Dahlia Jewel Strump Solo Stocking that I wanted to talk to you guys about. This one is about $7 Canadian and it was published in 2021. What I really like about this stocking is the detail of the seed stitch at the top that folds over and then some beautiful leaf detailing this one also still has a very clean simple look but with just some little bit more challenge to it a bit more design and detail than petite knits they're very different because one is felted and one isn't this one also is one size pattern it calls for 230 yards or 200 meters it is a bulky weight petite knits was also knit up in the same yarn i believe this pattern was published by Lene Holm Sam Samso, and I've talked about her patterns before. If you guys want some lovely stocking ideas that are not too kitsch, not too corny, but would really look beautiful on a fireplace, and you can even knit these two, I think together they look great. So those are the home decoration gifts that I think would work really, really well. On to the last part of the video. I feel like this video is getting a little bit long, but we are almost done, I promise you guys. The last thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about is, again, if you don't have time to knit full items and you wanna still give someone something wrapped in something knit, the first one is the bindle bag. I think that this bag is beautiful and some people even use it as a project bag. A makeup bag, a storage bag, a lunch bag. It calls for DK weight yarn and it uses about 385 yards or 352 meters. It has two sizes. It is a pattern by Ozetta Haley Smedley. And this again is a pattern designer that we've mentioned in the past before. So this pattern does have German short rows for the decreases. It does state that it is knit in the flat and can be knitted in the round. So I'm really interested to see how that would work and it has a long tail cast on. I feel like this as a gift wrapper would be beautiful under a Christmas tree. And then you could even tie a little star at the little edge and the top where the little like wrap ties together. You could put a little knit star and there you go. It's a beautiful, lovely little Christmas gift. And whatever is inside is inside. You but I really, really like this bag and I wanna make one for myself. Now the pattern isn't a free pattern. It is about $9.28 
sense. If you have a smaller item and you want to give someone a little something wrapped is this beautiful little pouch. It is called the Tarot Pouch Gift Bag Envelope. So one reason why I do think this pouch is perfect as a gift wrap option is let's say you do have smaller, daintier, fragile items that you wanna give someone and you want them to have a case to basically carry it in. Like for example, if you give some lovely Ana Luisa jewelry with my 35% off in the description, you can actually store it in this pouch and give it to them so that they also have somewhere to keep it even states that the pouch can hold a small bar of soap and small boxes. And I love how you can opt for having a stick as a seal to keep the pouch shut or typical buttons. However, if you do have a bigger item or many different size items and you want to make all your gift wrapping options unified and the same, there is the Pearl Pouch by Tori Yu. This pattern is about $10 Canadian but it is this beautiful pouch with little tassels. Keep your gifts unified and is again another pouch that you can use as a project bag. This pattern was published in 2022 and it is a pattern that calls for DK weight yarn. So a fingering and a lace held together to give it that nice fuzzy yarn. I honestly love the yellow one with the white tassels. I think that that is beautiful. I just love how it comes with three different sizes. It is a pattern of average difficulty, so it is about in the middle level, and it has been knit over 100 times. So it is a knittable pattern. This pattern calls for 165 yards to 400 yards, or 150 meters to about 440 meters. Last pattern that I wanna share with you guys is one that is great for children, but also great for your troubled friends. <laughs> and it is this emotional support chicken. I think that this would be such a funny knit to give to someone and you, they can then hug it and be emotionally supported. I just love the buttons that this person used for the eyes. This is a pattern by Annette Corsino. And again, it has been knit over a hundred times. It calls for 200 yards to 250 yards or 183 meters to 229 meters. And it is knit in worsted weight. I just love this chicken. I, I don't know what it is. I really like farm animals, chickens, cows, goats. I'm here for them. I love cows, but chickens too. Pattern is about $7 Canadian. Here are some other lovely chickens that people have knit in the past. I think that this really ties a piece together. And if you were to knit it a little Christmas Santa hat, there you go. You now have a Christmas comfort chicken. <laughs> I think that kind of wraps up all the patterns that I wanted to share with you guys today. From knitwear items to home decor to ways to wrap up your knitwear items or gifts for this holiday season. And um, if you guys haven't started, I think right now is the perfect time to get started on some holiday gifts. It's still early, but we're getting close to the, to the days. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys do plan on casting any of these or giving away any of these items. If you have other items that you want to give and other pattern suggestions, post it in the comment section down below. I'm always excited to find new different patterns. And please remember to check out Ana Luisa for 35% off your next purchase. The link is in the description. Have a lovely, beautiful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.